At the age of 86, Judith Molina is writing a new play called No Place to Hide. The whole world feels as if it's being pursued by economics, by each other, by ourselves, by the police, by you. Everyone is hiding and can't find a place to hide. Earlier this year, she lost a battle with her landlord over the lease to her Lower East Side Theater and her home. Since then, Melina's new hiding place has become the Lillian Booth Actors Home in Englewood, New Jersey. Uh, yes, it is a place to hide, but I don't like to be in an institution. I would like to be at home with a family and a collective and a working theater group. I've lived with a theater collective all my life, and now I'm not. This is very pleasant here, very beautiful. There's lots of grounds and gardens, and my room is a nice room, and I'm free of economic worries. But uh, they won't let me light my Shabbos lights because they won't let me light a candle in here because there's oxygen, but also nowhere else on the premises. So I will, I'll make Shabbos in here with electric light. <laughs> But I will make Shabbos and I'll say my bruches. I do all that. I still do that. The home is an assisted living facility for individuals who worked in the entertainment business. Even if the facility and the staff are welcoming, many residents like Harold Cherry still struggle to feel comfortable in their new home. I mean, what else can I do? I really can't survive on my own these days. Cost of living and, and rent among other things. I, I don't have family anymore, so as I say, I made friends and friends became family. You got to connect with other people. That's what the human spirit is about, connecting with other people. Residents have made careers of connecting with others, on stage, through music, or on screen. I worked in uh, Zeleg. I worked in Alice as a uh, as an analyst or doctor, and I had a profile, and a few others. It was difficult, very difficult. I wanted to do more, as you know, most actors, and uh, not have to work at other uh, um, employment, and uh, just be on top and make the, the gelt, the money the moolah. <laughs> Joan Stein, another resident, was trained as a concert pianist at Juilliard and comes from an old world musical family. My mother's family was from, the father was from Latvia, but he, <laughs> he played the baritone horn in the Tsar's Imperial Army Band. So there was music. Uh, my father uh, he was a violinist and my mother was a pianist, so music came through both channels. But I remember I particularly enjoyed Rosh Hashanah because my father played the uh, Kol Nidra. In the 1950s, Stein was a piano accompanist on the NBC sketch comedy program, Your Show of Shows, which starred Imogene Coca and Sid Caesar. These days, she performs Gershwin and Chopin for her friends and the other residents. Continuing to perform is clearly important to the residents here. Even if there's a certain resignation to living away from their homes and their families, these are creative people, and they draw strength from continuing to create. I'm working on it day and night, and I'm going to go into rehearsal as soon as I've written it. I don't have any difference between the weekend and the and the rest of the week, I just do every day's work every day. I like to say I've had the same job for 65 years, and I still love it. 